Welcome back to another edition of the Research Fantasy Presents Value Bin Bargains for Friday, March 17th, 2017. Recap from yesterday, pretty decent um, night. Joe Johnson definitely hit value. He's over 20 fantasy points, 23 on DraftKings. Karis Levert hit value, though. I definitely would have rather had Rondé Hollis-Jefferson in the, in the breakdown. And finally, Will Barton was a monster. Uh, his three-point shot was falling, which is why he saw an outing much closer to 50 than 30. So hopefully we can keep everything rolling tonight. Let's look at our projections to see where everything falls. Who does our module really like tonight in the value range? And we're going to start off with Jalen Brown, Shabazz Muhammad, Ish Smith, Tyler Johnson, All right, well, that's pretty much it for value. There's a lot of medium plays tonight that I think uh, we'll be rolling with. Plus, I didn't want to talk about our three favorite plays. Let's start things off with Tyler Eulis of the Phoenix Suns. He's going to be the point guard now for the rest of the year. He should be seeing 36 to 38 minutes, which means he should be able to exceed you know fantasy value until his price is probably around 6,000, 6,500 roughly. Uh, matchup is fine here against an Orlando team on a back-to-back -back that's well rested because they got killed yesterday. So <coughs> I definitely think that Eulis is someone who we can consider for our lineups. If we want to pivot a little bit, I don't hate the idea of you using Terry Rozier uh, of the Celtics. I know this makes like three out of six picks for the Celtics uh, against Brooklyn tonight, but at 3K on DraftKings, a guy who has been, you know, off and on coming in around the 16, 18, then sometimes 22 point mark <clears throat> with Isaiah Thomas in the game. I think he could really benefit from Isaiah being out. I think this is definitely like a huge high risk punt play, but he really does open up your roster. And if he is able to come through with like 20, 23 fantasy points tonight, you know, you're seven, eight times value. You're looking pretty good for Terry Rosier. Last guy is someone that maybe I have too much of a fascination with. The matchup is interesting again tonight. He's playing the Milwaukee Bucks. His price is bottom barrel, like 4100 on FanDuel. On DraftKings, he's at 54 That's Ivica Zubak. So I'm sure a lot of people aren't really enthusiastic about hearing this name considering just the other night he put up 4,000 what had to be like seven or eight minutes um, but you know if he's able to stay out of foul trouble which he's not going to get into foul trouble every single game or at least we hope he won't he should be able to put up you know 28 to 30 minutes on the floor and he's about a point per minute maybe a slight bit more when he's on the floor the matchup isn't the greatest um, but i think that a lot of people might be off him tonight, especially on DraftKings where his price did not budge. Um, some other decent options, like I suggested in the first video, Al Horford, just $500, uh, I'm sorry, $700 more. A few other guys in that range, DeMarcus Cousins being cheap. I just don't see it being a situation where we see a ton of Zubac ownership tonight. That will wrap it up for me. I'm going to sleep now. I'm hopefully going to be done with this flu by the next time we talk, but flus typically don't go away in a day. Until then, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Head over to researchfantasy.com, sign up for our mailing list. Go to Facebook, like us there, follow us on Twitter at Research and Win, and join us again tomorrow.